Refugees turn entrepreneurs. New eateries are popping up on the Boise bench, enriching local culinary options. Six on your side's Madeline White joins us live in studio with more on the evolving food landscape on the Boise bench. Yeah, that's right, Don. Refugees who own and operate these new restaurants in Boise said they hope to give back to the community that took them in. And more than ever, they're doing so in ways that are both delicious and authentic. Everything here, it's from scratch. Hannah Mutlock says when she and her family came to Idaho as refugees from war-torn Baghdad, Iraq in 2008, they dreamt of making something good for the community of Boise. So I like to, to, to make my customer taste the original taste. You know, I don't want the fake taste, like a pre-mix falafel. We didn't use that uh, back home. Now that dream has manifested in the form of Foodland Market, a combination market, coffee shop, and Mediterranean restaurant where patrons can try their top seller falafel sandwiches for about three bucks a pop. And most of my customers, they are American, not Arabic, which is surprised me. <laughs> I do have a customer, they are from Caldwell. They came here and have their bread whenever they get to Boise. She says business has been good since their recent opening and that she feels it's even brought her closer to her community. This is what I like for our community or our, all American people. They like to try different type of food. They are open with the food. They try Korean, Japanese, Chinese, Arabic, from everywhere. They don't mind to taste it, which is really, really good. But hers isn't the only new eatery, both owned and operated by refugees on the Boise bench. Homira Shams and her three sisters opened Sunshine Spice Cafe last month. Originally from Afghanistan, the sisters are bringing freshly made Afghani bread to Fairview Avenue in Boise. Afghan refugees, like they are used to the bread that they cook. So we want to have them, we want them to come and purchase their bread here. They came to the U.S. as refugees when Homira was in sixth grade. From zero English, zero writing, and zero reading. So we knew nothing. We came like a, to the United States as like our eyes are closed, like how that it felt, you know. But she and her sisters studied and persevered, eventually landing each of them admission to Boise State University. Homira says she recently graduated. We worked really hard and wanted to have something of our own. We created this business to have like all of our dreams to come like together. Profits from sales of local artist pieces that line the cafe walls will go to Agency for New Americans. In a full circle moment, giving back to the same community that provided opportunity for them. We want them to be like, really good at, at home. Yes, that's true. <laughs> And Shams says the baklava is a top seller for them at Sunshine Spice Cafe. Oh, and also I got to have a taste of the falafel at Foodland Market, okay. Don. Oh my goodness, it so, was so good. I, I'm, I'm putting these down on a list here. I have to go. <laughs> yeah. So is there a trick to making a great falafel? You know, I don't want to give away their they secrets. I don't even really know their secrets, but <laughs> I, she did say <laughs> that it's important to give the chickpeas a long time to soak and soften. And that's what they do there at Foodland for their falafel. No. Let's see, 10, 11. That's not too late to eat, is it? No, definitely going to get some after this. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm right, hungry. Thanks, thanks Madeline. Thank you. <laughs>